Today, I'll be adding Ken Griffey Jr. back to the MLB, but he's a zero overall. Every time he gets a hit, we'll get points to upgrade him. And my goal is to take young Ken Griffey Jr. all the way up to a 99 overall. And this zero overall Griffey just got called up to the MLB with the Mariners to play alongside his dad. And he put on the pressure for Griffey to get upgraded as soon as possible. I need to get him the 25 overall in these first two games or his dad was going to make sure he went back down to the minors. And we'd get these points for every total base for each hit along with making outs in the field. So we came up in the second inning with some runners on with a chance to take the lead. Perfect, perfect. Is that going to carry? Zero overall Ken Griffey Jr. for ya. And our struggles would continue next at bat because we'd hit this grounder up the middle, but Griffey was still way too slow to beat it out. And at zero speed also meant he couldn't catch fly balls easily. But we came up in the fifth inning with a chance to add some good insurance. But yet again, we'd fly out and end the inning. We'd finally have a chance to get upgrade points by making this routine play in the field. That seemed to be our only shot at getting points because Ken Griffey Jr. couldn't get a single hit this game. And we were banking on getting all these points in the field. But Griffey Sr. was here to help his son, so he picked up two singles this game, giving us bonus points for each of those hits. So we ended up having 175 points after winning game number one. So we upgraded our hitting and fielding a little bit to get up to 17 overall. And game number two was off to a pretty similar start, and we were relying on fielding. So we got two flyouts here in the first inning. We were already off to a 50-point start. But even though we upgraded that contact and power, he was still struggling to hit. 20 contact and power can't even save him. But the struggles would finally end. Get over his head, yes! Hit number one with Ken Griffey Jr. That took a little longer than I expected to get that. But we wouldn't be able to score because Edgar Martinez grounded into this double play. And we had a 1-0 deficit to come back from. We had to start winning now because our next challenge with Ken Griffey Jr. requires us to get as many wins as we can. But we wouldn't be able to help out as we try to get this win because Ken Griffey Jr. still stunk at hitting. But the team took a 3-1 lead and we managed to get on base to try to get some insurance. Edgar Martinez would hit a deep fly ball here to left field, but that would not leave. And Ken Griffey Sr. would ground out the second base but that wouldn't matter because we would end up picking up a three to one win and ken griffey senior would also have a three hit game netting us another 150 points so we had 325 points to spend getting griffey's contact and power up to 45 and since this got him up to 38 overall we secured a spot on the major league team and now let's flash forward to the 1995 playoffs and Ken Griffey Jr. was a key part of this Mariners team to end up beating the Yankees in the postseason in crazy fashion. We'll need to recreate the series victory versus the Yankees by winning this three-game series. And also, every win is going to be a bonus 50 points. But our upgraded Griffey was still struggling. We gotta be better at this point, man. We got 45 contact. No. And the Yankees are coming back. Great. And we kept on struggling at the dish, and I was not feeling good with this lead. But thankfully, our fielding upgrades actually helped us make some tougher plays in the field. We will take the 25 points when we can get them. Another fly out, baby. We'll take the points. But the team ended up taking a 3-1 lead, but we could not contribute anything, and we ended up going over. Griffey Jr. has done nothing here in this game. Despite our fielding upgrades, we couldn't make a play on this fly ball, and the Yankees are putting up pressure. Oh my goodness, and they tied it. Oh no, I don't like this. You're catching this, right, Griffey? You're catching this, right? Yes. Needed that. And the perfect relay. I should have thrown it right to third. He still has like no arm strength. And they're up 6-4. Oh no. Yes. That's a big hit right there, Griff. But our hopes of tying this game would go away real quick. Why would you send him home on that? That is Aaron Judge out in right field. And we only had 100 points after this game since we got the loss. And we could only upgrade our power and speed a little bit. But we still got a long way to go. We got to come back and win this series. And yet again, we were off to a rough start at the plate. But we were still getting the job done in the field. And with our 70 power, I decided to power swing, especially with that short porch in right field. Oh, that smacked. Carry baseball. Yes! The short porch. It's about time we did something with Griffey, man. And we kept the foot on the gas by fielding this fly out to end the inning. 
We're on cruise control this game, baby. But we'd lose some momentum at the dish because we try to power swing and hit a deep fly out to center. Man, this game is sweaty. Three to two here in the seventh. And we wouldn't help our team's cause because we'd hit another fly out to center field. Do what works. Hit it to right. But we had a chance to redeem ourselves with the bases loaded. Get up the middle, get up the middle, get up the middle. Yes, Griffey! That should definitely cement this game, right? Two runs single, and we're up 6-2. And we'd get one more fly out made in the field to wrap up this game, and we'd end up picking up a 6-2 win. 250 points, plus the 50 point bonus, 300 point game, and we still got one more game to win in this series. And with our points, I got our hitting all the way up to 99 everything, and got 95 speed, so it's time to hit some taters and win this series. This is the redemption game right here. Oh, did you, Griffey? Carry baseball. Dang it, dude. Even when we hit the ball hard, we're getting robbed out there. But we're looking to hit that ball a little harder this next in. There he is. There's the kid. Perfect, perfect on an up and in fastball. This is what we need. And we had a field day out in center field, fielding three more fly outs. And I got a little impatient in my next two at bats, getting out pretty easily in both of them. All right, ninth inning. We are three outs away from beating the Yankees again. And we'd field this fly out to start the inning. And we'd win this game 3-1. to one. Series 1. And we get 350 points to upgrade with Griffey. And we'd use those points to upgrade the fielding a lot. But we still had plenty of attributes to upgrade. But he was technically a 99 overall. So let's fast forward to 1999. Where Ken Griffey Jr. dominated a home run derby. And we're going to take this Ken Griffey Jr. into the derby. And we're going to get 5 points for every home run that we hit. With a 50 point bonus if we manage to win it. In our first opponent, Sean Greed got off to a good start start and then quickly struggled going a minute straight basically without hitting a homer but he'd pick things up in the last minute getting two more home runs pretty quickly then getting up to four. Uh oh, oh he's getting hot all right last swing <laughs> off the top of the wall four home runs is all that we need to beat i think it's gonna be a cakewalk the backwards hat and everything going he ain't gonna mess this up see there's one already I think he got that one. Yup, there's two. Oh, the center. I think that one's gonna go too. Yes, it is. Ah, that's the deepest part of the park. That one might be a tough one. Oh, and he still got it. And there's number five. Told you, I was gonna be a cakewalk. Five homers is a pretty fair start, I'd say. Larry Walker ended up winning his round. We've got seven home runs to beat. And Ken Griffey Jr. kept doing his thing. We were rattling off homer after homer. Oh, that's three. That's gonna be five. There's six. Oh, short porch him. Pesky pull, come on. Oh, we don't even need to worry about the pesky pole. And there we go. Larry Walker, he's taken down too. So we're going up against Mark McGuire in the finals. I'm actually kind of scared. And there he goes. Just like our first two opponents though, Mark McGuire started to struggle. He only got two home runs in his first minute. And those struggles would continue in the second minute as he was headed into his last swing with only three homers. Oh my goodness, only three homers right now. I think it's gonna be all that he gets. Nope, he's got four. We need to hit five home runs to win here. Oh, there's one for sure. I don't even need to look at it that's leaving. Ah, that's two, I think. And we were on fire to get going. And it almost felt a little too easy. Ken Griffey Jr. is winning this derby like it's a breeze. Another one? No way that one leaves too, right? Oh my goodness. Ken Griffey Jr. made it look easy. So we hit 18 home runs in this derby. 140 upgrade points should basically get us all the way to 99 everything. So I spent these points on Griffey's base running ratings and his fielding ratings. So yes, we are basically at 99 everything with Griffey, but we have one final game. For the first time in this video, we're gonna rewrite history. 
Ken Griffey Jr. was traded to the Reds and he started his decline partially because he was getting older and his injuries. We're going to play one final game with the Reds and we are going to make the Mariners pay for that trade. And we're going to give this Griffey one final send off so we get 99 everything on his attributes. So we stepped in the plate with cursed Ken Griffey Jr. looking to do some damage. Oh, yes. Ken Griffey Jr. starting us off with a perfect, perfect. You know he's a 99. This man is different. Yup, you are in trouble, Mariners fans. Another perfect, perfect bomb. This man is crushing it. We come up again and get this double down the line. And 99 Griffey was just on another level. And I was feeling so good, we even tried to steal third. We're there easily. And our runs that we scored led us to an easy 4-2 win. And Ken Griffey Jr. gets his vengeance. And now we have Ken Griffey Jr. all the way up to 99 everything. If you want to see me do this challenge with someone else, you should watch me upgrade Fernando Tatis Jr. after every single hit. You have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you again on next one.